I need to be putting together this wildflower collection because we need to crack on with it. It is not very long until stationery fest, but first I am going to do my desk makeover. Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. As you can probably hear from my strained voice, I do not feel well and it's another rainy day in the studio. The last few weeks, every time I film, the rain is hammering on the roof. <coughs> Cough for dramatic effect. Thank you so much to the people who left lovely comments on last week's vlog about the washi tape and also normalised the fact that it is okay to feel sad when products arrive and they are not as you expected. I am still in talks with my washi manufacturer about getting this fixed. I've just, this has just prompted me to chase them again because it's a week since I filmed that unboxing and we're still not at a resolution which does make me a bit nervous but I'm hopeful. They said that they were willing to put it right but they also wanted me to finance some of that and I just don't see why I should. I've already paid for the goods, I've already paid for the shipping and if they didn't arrive in the condition that's expected it's not really my doing so I don't really see why I should pay twice. So that's what I've gone back and said. So it's still very much up in the air, that one. And then kind of towards the end of last week, I had a bit of a tickle in my throat and I just thought, oh well, it's just a bit of a tickly throat, but it doesn't seem to be developing at all. And then Sunday, I woke up and I just felt horrendous. It's Tuesday now as I'm filming this. And yesterday I just did some easy jobs and rested. And today, I need to be back at it because I need to be putting together this wildflower collection. I am excited to expand on it, to come up with new designs, to expand the collection. My emails are going crazy. There's, there's new product types I want to add to this collection as well as doing some different sticker designs. So I'm excited about that. So I want to do some of that today because we need to crack on with it. It is not very long until Stationery Fest where this will be launching. So it's Tuesday the 4th of June now and Stationery Fest is at the end of this month. So we are on the Stationery Fest countdown which is very exciting. If you don't know about Stationery Fest I will leave all the links in the description below but it's an amazing stationery convention in Manchester in the UK that I attended last year and I'll be there again with Sunshine Lane this year and there is a shopping area where you can shop so many big and small stationery businesses and I just don't think there's anything of that scale like it in the UK and then there's also a VIP area with talks and workshops and lots of creative activities and stuff so I'll leave all the links in the description but first to perk me up a bit because I'm struggling as you can see I am going to do my desk makeover. So I did promise this for last week's video but I was still waiting for some things to arrive because of the bank holiday. And I did a little experiment with swapping my laptop and my screen round and I do actually really like it this way round. But it does mean I'm gonna have to move my calendar somewhere because it's hidden now behind my laptop. But I'm gonna clear my desk. My husband has put a little shelf up for me, which I'm gonna put some decorative bits on. I'm probably gonna put my little tune sick plushie that I bought back from South Korea. I've bought a little lamp that I saw and just some bits and bobs that I find around the place, maybe one of my own prints. And then I'm gonna make over the desk itself. So let's start by clearing the desk and then we'll build some of the new goodies.
finished building this little monitor riser, I guess, but I'm not going to put my monitor on it. Um, I wanted something with little compartments to go under my monitor, whereas the other thing I had didn't have any compartments. I thought it was going to be a bit flimsy, but now I've put the screws in, it's really solid. And I did think that, I'll see how I get on with it, but I could spray it a different colour. Um, and it's got these little ridges in the back for you to put any cables through and keep them out of the way. But I'm going to try and use wireless stuff as much as possible because cables really get on my nerves. <laughs> I treated myself to this little calculator. How cute is that? Wonderful sums. Will it fit there? No. Will it fit there? Yes. Or it might fit there because it's cute. It might fit there. Whoa! How cute is this orange and pink keyboard? I never have anything orange of like the Sunshine Lane colours. I have a, a lot of yellow stuff, I have some pink stuff. I never have much orange and so when I saw this orange and pink combo I was like yeah you're the one. It does come with a mouse but I'm not going to use it. This always ends up happening because the keyboard I want comes with a mouse. But I use a vertical mouse, which is like you hold it like this and your buttons are on the side rather than like this. And with my fibromyalgia, like if you can see, it just keeps your arm in a more natural position. Like you just move it like this instead of with a normal mouse, you bend your hand back and I end up with dragging pains down here. So even though the white mouse isn't as pretty, we're going to use the white one and at least it matches this. But the only annoying thing is look at this. No, it doesn't fit, but it does fit there. When I'm not using it, I can put it up there. To be fair, I do use it most of the time, so I could just take it off my desk when I'm not using it, but that's really annoying. However, I do like my keyboards to be tilted up slightly, whereas this is quite flat. And it was the same when I bought this one, which I did love, apart from the fact that it's got the stupid cable and it's not as fun with the orange. So I got this thing. <laughs> it's like an adhesive uh, mount and the legs fold in and out. So you can use those little ones or you can use the big ones. Um, but I am going to try and see if I can take this off and re-stick it. I don't know how successful that's going to be. It's just sticky pads. It's three sticky pads. One's not even stuck down. I don't have the strength for this today. It's this bit in the middle. Got ya. Okay, that's still super sticky. So I'm just gonna stick it there. Is that central? It's pretty central. Just got it off Amazon, I'll link it below. You can also put them on the bottom of laptops so that you can have your laptop in, whoa, I'm pressing something, in kind of like that position with the screen. Obviously I would never type with it in that position, but these big ones fold down and they leave just these little tiny ones, if you can see those. And then, that's a more natural typing position for me. 
I don't know if other people would find it weird or you can put that in and just having that gives it a bit more of a bump at the back but I'm going to try it with the little legs and see how I get on Next up, I got this little memo board on my travels to South Korea. It's a little Miffy monitor memo board. Good alliteration. And it's purely acrylic. The uh, film off. So it's got a little um, sticky pad down one side and then the idea is that you stick it next to, on the side of your monitor and you can put sticky notes and things on it for yourself. I think that looks cute. I had to go slightly higher than the monitor, which is a bit annoying because there's four buttons there. Really annoying. Um, but if I do stick it on that, even though I don't use these buttons, it starts messing with things. So, and I, you can't swap it to the other side because the sticky pad's only on one side. So it's quite a sturdy, to be fair. Putting little sticky notes and reminders and things on, maybe some stickers, who knows? So yeah, got my little memo board.
So this is my first time doing a mouse mat and I don't like it. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do like. I like that the colours on the wildflowers really pop. I didn't know if they would but I used too dark of a backing colour. I was a bit worried about it coming out too light um, and I wanted it more of a cream rather than this kind of murky yellowy orangey beigey colour. And I also don't like the quote at the bottom and how there's this line across. So the only other mouse mat tester I have got, because I bought a bunch of testers ages ago, is a round one. So I'm going to have a go at reformatting the design. Also, can you see here... Um, there's this purple flower, I had designed it to go off the edges just so you know, <laughs> but this purple flower has got like a shadow of the black line like it's moved as it's being pressed and I don't know how that's even possible because I only pressed it once and it was in the machine the whole time so I'm like how have you moved but I'm going to have a go at reformatting the design for a round mouse mat, putting it on a cream background and seeing if we like that. If not, I need to buy more testers before I can do any more. So I'm really hoping it comes out okay. So not bad for a day's work feeling rubbish. I have done other things. I haven't just been doing my desk all day, but 
look how cute it looks behind me now. I did call my husband back in and was like, yeah, the shelf's too high. And he was like, oh no, the screws aren't going to hold up if we keep doing it in and out. And I was like, yeah, but I didn't know. So could we just move it, please? Because it was just so, so high. And I think dropping it down is so much better now that I've moved my calendar across. And I just love how it looks. So let me show you everything that I've now got in my cozy little workspace. So starting on the shelf, I popped up one of my retro art prints. I went for the Weird is Wonderful because it's one of my favourite designs and it's on lots of other products in the shop, but I do not have a single one of my own full-size art prints in the shop. I have some of the postcards, some of the collectible mini prints that I put in the orders for like limited runs but I don't have any of the full size art prints so I grabbed a frame, I popped up the Weird is Wonderful, I might paint this frame or get a pink or orange frame for the long run but for now I've popped it in a black frame. I've got my Shine Bright lamp if you can see, it says Shine Bright on it, it's just battery operated and after I bought it I found out you can't replace the bulb which is so wasteful, it's just from Dunelm but I thought it was very Sunshine Lane. And then I've got my Tune Sick character that I bought back from South Korea. Then my vision board hasn't moved, so that's still above my desk. I've got a whole video on how I put this together, what's on it, why it's on it, so I'll link that below if that's of interest. I know it's a bit controversial and I did get a couple of comments saying like, is it just procrastination? Does it really help you work on your goals? But I find on days where I'm really low motivation that having it above my screen, I look up at it and the things on there remind me why I need to do what I'm doing. And so it's more for the motivation of reminding me where I want to get to and why I want to get there. So there's a lot of family related things, there's a lot of health related things and when you're faced with a load of tasks that you don't want to do or you're not really feeling it like today, I look at it and it reminds me why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I've got my vision board. And then moving across on the wall, it is a bit hard to see this side at the minute because it's bright, it's right near the window, but I am getting some blinds coming up in here in the next couple of weeks, pink blinds, which I'm very excited about. But I've kept this where it is, it's the Barbie monologue. I got this from Just My Typeface store. I will put it in the description. And then I've moved my calendar to here on the pegboard. Um, I've got the last few of these in the shop now. They're reduced to two pound if you wanna grab one of the last ones available. And then I've got my mini desk calendar as well as my lemon jelly cat and like just lots of meaningful bits and bobs that people have sent me or gifted me and yeah it just reminds me like what lovely people I've met during my time doing Sunshine Lane. Then on the end of this desk I've still got my label printer. I don't know whether I'm keeping this one, I don't know whether I'm keeping it here. It does annoy me that it's wired and that I have to connect it up to my laptop because the cable doesn't stretch so I have to move everything around to make it print but for now it's there but I wanted to clear this end a bit so that if I have someone come to work with me in the future which may or may not be happening that they could work next to me if they wanted and we could make that work. And then up to this end which is obviously everything I see on a daily basis and I just love it. I've got my super bright keyboard I have been typing a little bit with it at this height and it's been working well so far. Got my memo board on my monitor and I've decided to put some sticky notes in this little compartment here, including my little tune sick ones I brought back from South Korea. Tune sick is all over my desk. As you can see here, I've also got my 3-in-1 tune sick charger. So it does my AirPods on the back, the watch there and my phone, I can just pop it on there and it charges, but I can also see if I'm getting any messages or whatever. And it's just less wires again going everywhere because I've been getting really sick of having different charges and things trailing backwards and forwards and it just puts me in a messy mindset. I don't know why I've got an allergy to cables kind of, but yeah, it just 
I find it frustrating. Then I'll talk about the mouse mat in a minute. But I've got my visual timer still I am using that I like to set myself certain lengths of time to do tasks and you can see like it fills it in blue and then it ticks down. There you go. I got myself a giant pastel calculator. I think it's super cute. And then I've just got a little notepad. I've got my bullet journal in here. So everything's to hand. I've got like my main pens and things. I use this yellow pen pot was from TK Maxx. And then if you can see here, I've just got a little wax melt lamp. Boop, boop. And it like casts pretty shadows on the wall. And then I've just got my laptop to the left of me now and it just makes it easier to connect all the cables and things and hide them and not have things trailing about. It also opens up this end of the desk if I'm doing something where I need more space or if someone else is sitting there because when I had my laptop here on an angle, it kind of then blocked it off. Whereas having it here on an angle on the other end just works really well. And then what is next to it is just my drawers with more stationary office supplies, cables, camera stuff, like all the things I need in there. I've got extra pens here. My iPad, my notepads, files that I use regularly and a plant that I'm trying to bring back to life. So I'm sure it will continue to evolve but what I like is that I've added more colour and I've added more kind of cute elements that are my vibe. Like my husband came in to move the shelf and he saw the bright keyboard and he said oh that's cute it looks really Cacao Friends which is the shop that Tunesick is from. And Whilst I disagree, because I think it's a bit bright to be a Cacao Friends item, I know exactly what he's saying. It's like bright, it's fun, it's cute. It's like giving more of the kind of cute, fun art style that I like than what was here before, which was plain pastels and like not that much fun. Now there's like more pops of decoration and different like a bit more character about the place if that makes sense. I am very aware that my brain isn't working that well today so I hope that makes sense. Now the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was the mouse mat. So I have thoughts. My thoughts are I still think the backing's too dark. I would prefer it to be almost like an off-white but I don't know what you think about that. I think with the design it would really make those bright colours pop and because I've used so many colours, if I use another bright colour it all gets a bit mingled. I tried playing around with different colours on the screen I didn't think it worked that well as like a creamy colour but I still think this is coming off a bit too beige and it almost needs to really brighten up like an off-white. But I love, the, love, love, love the design of it with the round at the top and I've moved the position of the flowers and the little butterfly and I love how bright the flowers are and just the positioning of everything and how the stems come down off the mouse mat. I got a very slight bit of shifting there. There's a tiny little shadow but this one's going to be mine anyway because I'm not 100% with it. I would like to really brighten it up but I think the round is the one and I would quite like to add this to the wildflower collection when I release it at Stationery Fest and maybe even make it into a round sticker. So I'd love to know what you guys think of that. Please, please, please could you let me know in the comments below. I have wanted a mouse mark for my desk for ages because my mouse, I'm constantly like banging it on the desk and trying to get it to work again and it, the computer isn't picking it up and since I've just had a go with the mouse mat it's like picking it up perfectly. Let me get the other one as a comparison. Yeah this rectangle is just so not the one. So this is the original that I did. Where's the angle? This is the original, this is the new one. I think the lighter colour looks so much better, the round design is really pretty and I might just add a few more little leaves and things down here. I kind of wanted to leave it just stems on the bottom and not too busy but I don't know if this just looks a bit bare, whether I just put the odd green flourish. Let me know what you think. So yeah, do you like the design? What do you think of extra green bits? What do you think about an off-white backing colour? 
And should I bring them to the shop update? That's your homework. Um, yeah, sorry, I always ask you loads of questions in the vlogs because I just wanna create the things that you love to see. So getting back into designing something for the Wildflower Collection has really sparked my ideas again. I'm gonna be continuing to come up with some different designs and different quotes and things for the collection. And when I come back next week, I am gonna be unboxing something completely new and we are gonna try making something with a brand new machine and then a brand new type of product that I've not made before. So that's very exciting. So please come back and join me then. Do like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe and comment and all those things because it's really helping to push these vlogs out to people who might want to see them too. And I'm really close to 7,000 subscribers and I would really like to get there. So every little bit helps. Take care, I will try and do the same and hopefully have a better voice and a better look when I come back next week. Bye everyone.